cruise and uh, this was uh, the uh, meditation day definitely and on the last Saturday of April the world celebrates each year world healing day the world healing day event includes yoga prayer Tai Chi uh, King Kong I don't know if I'm uh, saying this name right or, or not healing prayer meditation day native uh, Aboriginal uh, sacred dance day Sufi dance art and music healing so this day is globally observed in hundreds of cities in more than 70 nations. Uh, we'll be speaking more about the event that took place in Egypt uh, with uh, the dynamic meditation coach, Mohammed Aisa. I'd like to thank you very much for joining us. Oh, welcome, welcome. So there is a lot of names uh, yeah. um, um, attributed to this day. Uh, if, uh, let's start first with the day itself. And, yes. Um, if you can give us a little bit around this you know, sort of meditation. Actually, uh, the, uh, the day uh, is uh, World Healing Day uh, or World, World uh, Healing Meditation Day. We started that in Egypt from uh, six, uh, seven years. This is the sixth time that we, that we, uh, that we do it in Egypt. Yes. And um, the idea uh, of the day is to bring inner peace, to bring our awareness and concentration about our inner and and, and bring the, the peace is inside if we are able to bring the peace inside we will able to actualize it uh, around us and actualize it around the people uh, in our work in the street in our community uh, with our friends with our family this is the main idea of the uh, of the day so let's move to uh, the day that was established in uh, in Egypt, uh, uh, you spoke to me about around 2,000 people attending this special event. So yes, actually, um, this time uh, every time we organize this uh, this day, more people um, uh, are coming, more people are, are interested about our, what we are doing, especially when they try uh, when they try it with us. Um, this year, we around 2,000 person has participated in the day. The day started at 8, uh, 11 o'clock in the morning ending at 8, 8 p.m. after uh, the sunset. Uh, um, uh, at once, uh, at once number of, uh, of people were practicing with us around uh, 700, 800. The, along the day it was around uh, 2,000 or may maybe more uh, than 2,000 person uh, that day. Yes, interesting. And, and, and uh, this is a rise, you've been doing this for six or seven years, like you mentioned. Yes. Has been this a rise from the previous years? Yes, uh, actually, uh, the idea of the Water He Meditation Day started with us uh, from seven years and we started to, uh, to, to do it in Egypt. Uh, but before that, we started with the idea to just exercise and meditate in the parks. Uh, the idea is to use the park in a, in a useful way and to change our awareness uh, and our perspective uh, of using the park just to go on picnic. We can use it in uh, in uh, development, also mental development, physical development, and that was the idea of the, our group. Uh, we have a, a free group that anyone can join. It's called Free Dynamic Meditation. That was the main philosophy, and the idea uh, moved from Cairo to other cities, to Alexandria, to Port Said, to Asyut, uh, and the uh, subgroups started to uh, 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 to be there. And from Egypt to the uh, the idea uh, uh, traveled out of Egypt to the. Uh, to the Gulf and to uh, uh, to other countries uh, around us, to uh, Tunisia, and Sudan, and uh, and Jordan, uh, and, and the Gulf countries also. So uh, the idea started from Egypt uh, and spread it all over the Arab countries. Yes, that's an interesting idea. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us, we we see on the screen now, uh, you know, this sort of sports that uh, the attend attendees were playing. If you can tell us a little bit about what we're actually. Uh, uh, played or uh, practiced during yeah. this day. Actually, we, uh, we uh, uh, um, I was keen to, uh, to to get all the modalities available in Egypt about uh, inner peace and uh, mind-body uh, practices. Uh, we did yoga, we did breathing, we did uh, uh, a Chinese yoga, which, uh, uh, which his name is uh, Qi Kong. And Qi Kong. Qi Kong, yes. Yeah. Qi means energy. Not, Kong. Not King Kong. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I read it as King Kong. Yes. Qi means energy in Chinese. Kong means practice. So it is a kind of a, a energy practice or a breathing practice. And we have a, a, another a, another sport. In what are the differences um, before uh, we, we head to the other? What are the differences between yoga and Qi Kong? Uh, the Qi Kong is, uh, is more dynamic. It was more movement. It was more uh, kind of... Um, uh, um, movement 
in modalities is different totally. You use you use your body. You can you can walk. You can uh, do uh, do walking meditation. Uh, you do the meditation as you are walking, yeah. uh, and you, as you are moving with, with your hand. The yoga is depend on pauses. You, you do pause yeah. and you still in that Practice. pose. Uh, the qigong have the idea of the qigong and the yoga is the same, but the the, the actualization is different. The way we do it is different. Yeah. So the idea about you know, uh, resistance, endurance, stretching, posing. Yes, is, yes, is, yeah. is, uh, yes. Uh, we, you do the same in qigong, but with with movement. Uh, and qi, uh, qigong also uh, concentrate uh, on the tendons and uh, uh, of the body, so it, it empower the tendons, and it concentrate on the physical body. The yoga. Is concentrate on the, still also on the on the, on the physical body, but, also the but, but on the yeah. brain. Yeah. The yoga go do the brain side of the more. Yes. Um, what other uh, types of uh, practices did you have? Uh, yes, we have also a Chinese uh, sport. Was called it Tai Chi Shua. It's kind of uh, Qi Hong, or the, a kind of a very slow movement that you you move very slowly, very slowly. The, the idea of moving slowly, when you step very slowly or move your hand very slowly, the idea that you bring awareness, awareness to that part of your body. So if there is stress or illness or disease in that part, it will uh, more energy will go to that part, so you can cure yourself or heal yourself from, from, from that. Yes. And we had also um, a kind of uh, sound healing meditation that the people start to uh, to, do, to make sounds, uh, maybe say ah or <laughs> yeah. continuously, the kind of uh, uh, of sounds make a resonance inside the body, so you, re you resonate internally, so you can release also the stress. And we have like, you know a mini massage for your uh, nervous yes. system. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's it's do like a, a vibration uh, yeah. inside the organ, so uh, the, the the organ started to move and uh, massaging itself. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, and we had also uh, su uh, Sufi uh, dance. dancing and uh, and we have the the tanura dance and uh, and uh, and that was a very special part and and this is the first time uh, to add this uh, this year this is one of the ads that we had uh, done this year yeah. and um, and actually we were, were not able to to add such, such a side without the. The sponsor, uh, sponsorship or the main sponsor with the, the tourism ministry, they uh, they funded us with uh, with, uh, with a company to, to do event planning for the day because they they found that that day is very promising for Egypt and to uh, to change our mood and change our uh, idea about the future. <laughs> yes, definitely. And what is the outcome? Uh, I'm seeing people really doing a lot of things on the screen. Yeah. What was the outcome? What, what was the feedback from the people who really attended? Ah, uh, this event. Actually, uh, uh, um, King Kong is here. Uh, I can see them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, actually, this the, this exercise when you do it, the uh, the uh, the tap on the thymus gland. It's here or uh, in this area. The thymus gland. Uh, when you tap on it, it enhances your immune system. So if you do that every day, you just tap, tap on it, mm -hmm. uh, and you breathe, you, you enhance your immune system. Yes. And um, this uh, uh, the, the feedback of the people they, they started uh, to, to ask us uh, when we do that again if you do, if you do it regularly and how they can join you and uh, and uh, and how and if we can do that at home uh, and uh, the people become more interested when they try the effect of that exercise uh, this ex exercise is scientifically proved that it have a, an effect on the physical body and the, on the brain also yes I think uh, it's uh, quite needed for a stressful life yeah. that we're living today. I, I, I think you spoke about the uh, inner peace and how people yes. really felt on that day. Yes, because uh, stress, uh, the idea of a stress that can affect our body and our brain, it is make a kind of disconnection from ourselves. So when you bring inner peace, you get in touch with your uh, power, with your uh, 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 your opportunities, and you have a more wi a wider vision. Um, so when you when you practice that, you you are you get more to, to understand and discover uh, yourself. So um, when you touch that at least one time, you uh, you find that you need to do it again and again. Yeah. Yes. Uh, moving to uh, the question that we're asked to you about uh, 
how would we do it at home, how would we practice, mm. how would we leverage you know, these techniques uh, in order to be better people and uh, less stressed. Yes. Actually, um, yes, you can do it at home. And, uh, you don't need more than just uh, five minutes a day. You just, uh, you just do some simple exercises. You can do uh, uh, some simple s stretches. And you can practice that every day. It will enhance your body, your brain, your immune system, your interior organs. And it also, it, it affects the blood pressure. If the people are suffering from high blood pressure, it can bring it down. Or low blood pressure, it will balance it and, uh, and normalize it. And, uh, and it also helps the people who uh, have a kind of uh, heart diseases, uh, kidney stones and uh, uh, gallbladder stones and, or some uh, 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 bad digestion system or bad colon. Uh, or um, a um, uh, problem in the, in the breathings, uh, after around two months daily practice, you will find your, your health will be changed. And you, but it you has to be daily. Significant, yes. At least at the, at, uh, at, the, at the first you do it daily, you will find after two months a significant change in your health. And yeah. new reports, in medical reports, it will appear also. Yes, yes it's, it's totally obvious when you do that um, with the commitment, it's totally obvious you can see that Yes. See the change. You start with a group called Free Dynamic Meditation. Uh, we use ancient mind body cleansing exercises uh, yes. designed to process the stress loads that we accumulate each day. Uh, mm. if you can tell me all about uh, how did it start? Yes, th that's really a, 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 a very nice question because but we need to understand that when you, uh, our mind and our way of thinking affect our body so when we think positively our body ability ability to get out or uh, to get out or to get rid of the the negative or the toxics uh, uh, from the body is easily and when we start to be in a negative state and think in a way uh, negatively or act negatively the ability of the body to get rid of these toxics is uh, decreased and our immunity system is decreased. So our ability to, uh, to perform in an ideal will be also uh, decreased. So when you practice uh, uh, such uh, practices and exercises, you are enhancing our body, enhancing our life, and you're bringing more wealth and health uh, to your life. Definitely, and um, uh, is it, is it uh, okay for any you know, certain age bracket to be uh, yes. practicing? Yes, it's, uh, you can do it any time. Um, I, I, I always recommend that the time you, yeah, that you can also commit it to, uh, to that time. Uh, um, the best time is, I would say the, the best two times, uh, that sunrise and the sunset, uh, the, the best two times. But in, in between you can do yes. you can do it. Ahmed Isa, I'd like to thank you very much. Uh, thank it has you been very really much. great uh, okay. talking to you about uh, meditation and uh, the World Healing Day. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome. Let's move on now for a short break and we're returning back tomorrow.